April Ludgate on Parks and Recreation didn't think March 31st was a real date. How do I know that? It's kind of fresh on the brain a little bit. Every time someone calls and requests a meeting with you, I always schedule it for March 31st. Why? Because I didn't think March 31st existed. 400 armed noblemen, Honoré? If it weren't for General Enough. Lafayette... Enough! The room is fogged with your bluster! All hot air and no action! Here's a man with good news, I think. Arno, what did you learn from the silversmith? Exactly what fucking killed them. Poison. They're catching up. Germain made that pin, and others like it, for a man named Lafreniere. Sure. Certain. And Master de la Serre spoke highly of his loyalty. Very well. I suppose the course is clear, Arno. Find Monsieur Lafreniere. I have done so already, Monsieur. He is no threat. What are you saying, Pisspaw? I had a lead on Lafreniere. I followed it, and I killed him. What the hell were you thinking? How dare you defy the The next time you suck in the council, I'll rip you a new arsehole! Holy shit, dude. While this council admires your zeal, it is not your place to choose your own targets. You should have reported your findings to us. Forgive me, mentor. I believed I had found the man who ordered Monsieur de la Serre's murder. When I discovered further evidence that suggested he was about to strike at the Brotherhood in force, I took action. Believed? Suggested? I am no longer certain of Lafreniere's motivations. In his memories, I saw him writing the letter that would have warned Monsieur de la Serre of his betrayal. When he I spoke of his impending attack, he mentioned a club in the Marais, not one of our safe houses. What do you make of this? I cannot say. I would like to investigate further. Please. I don't like this. The boy is a gifted assassin, but I fear he's obsessed with a private vendetta. Let another follow this lead. We don't have time. Whatever Lafreniere was planning, it happens tonight. He did ask permission this time, Guillaume. Ah. Uh, mm, he's like, God go damn it. See what you can learn. But no more rash action. Hm? Yes, mentor. Did they purposely give him, like, crater face right here? Or is there, like, a story behind it? Did he get, like, burned or something right there? Damn. I was reading something interesting about how the assassins are like children. Every single time a Templar, dude, the Templars, just like Haytham said, the Templars are nothing but people just trying to, well, a certain Templars, like Haytham Kenway, and also I would say Shea Cormac at this point, were just Templars trying to change the world and make it a better place. And they're making assassins look like some fucking baby ass. Bullies. What was I saying? Templars. In all the games that we've played, Templars are people with, are the people usually with schemes, and assassins are just people that interfere and get on their fucking nerves. So the Templars don't really deal with the assassins like the assassins deal with the Templars and what the Templars are doing. And for the most part, Templars have been portrayed as dicks. They've been like fucking crazy people. Like Rodrigo Borgia, you know, the Pope. Uh, all those Templars and all of those games, his son. All those people were fucking crazy. And then Haytham Kenway comes along and kind of changes the idea of what a Templar really is. And honestly, assassins are fucking crazy, dude. And Assassin's Creed Rogue kind of just showed that to me. Like, now playing... Now that I've played Assassin's Creed Rogue... And I've already known the story of Assassin's Creed 3. It's hard to explain what I'm trying to feel, but Assassin's Creed Rogue just showed us what it means to be a Templar. And I love this series. It's called Assassin's Creed, but dude, assassins are kind of like the fucking, like the real bad guy of this bitch. This is the place. Oh boy. What was Lafreniere? So Templar's Creed. The Templar Order. I'd, I'd play a game called the Templar Order. Upstairs. If it was Quickly. part of the same universe. La 
Touche. Oh, old friend. You do get about, don't you? I was just about to say that. That first guy we killed, the guy we killed in the fucking, uh... In, in the... What do you call it? The confessional? Ooh, snipe Alright, we have to go all the way around. Well, I do remember this entry point. I do remember, uh, entering this at one point. He's not a sniper. You wanna fucking go, huh? Oh wow! I had to do that, obviously. Look at the objectival. There's gotta be another sniper around here somewhere. Ah, I'm so stuffy. Oh, I'm so stuffy. Oh, I could just taste it all. Yeah, make whatever Steve Carell joke you fucking want, you nasty. I'm sure there will be plenty of, uh, what do you call them? Hiding spot opportunities. So I ain't tripping about that. No, 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 no. I'm just glad you liked that one as well. I'm sure I'll get unstuffy soon. You know, you know, I kind of want to try going underground. I'm not gonna fucking lie. And it just might work. Perhaps. Just to be safe. You can never be too safe. Just kill fucking everything. And this stagecoach driver ain't gonna say a fucking thing. Isn't that right, buddy? He's gonna be a good, good little boy. Hey, look at that. One hiding spot kill. You're an idiot. You deserve to be fired. As, as well as many other, uh... People who have tried to stop me before. Uh, I already saw where he was. He's over there in that corner. But, uh... I'm just gonna go ahead and clear the front entrance, too. I fucking found you. Oh, shit. That's Latouche right there. So who's that? Who's that right, gentlemen? Come here, honey. <laughs> this dude's gonna come back here any minute. Was that called a, a bait and switch or something like that? I love it. You can just simply walk up to these people. I need to get another hiding spot kill. I see it. We're going in here, going, taking a hard left. Ooh! I thought I done fucked up. Oof. That was a simple finesse right there. That's all that was. It's 
What's up, home dog? Dude, come right here. I didn't think he was gonna. Oh. I need a big flavor from you, guy. What was that? Come here. Come here. Please. Where are you? You bleeding pellet. Oh, you Stop fucking you. idiot. You certainly are a special one, aren't you, child? Wow. It's not as easy as it looks getting people to come to you. It's not that simple, really. Getting people to come right to you. Oh, shit. But then when I don't want it. What? Okay. Everything's back to normal, fella. Everything's... Back to good old normal. Ooh, yes. Yes. Some things happen for a reason. When somebody asks you, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I'm really happy that it happened right there. Uh, I don't know how the fuck I got caught, but I fucking got caught. And uh, yeah, we're gonna kill all these people. Can they just like see me or something? Or what's up? Like. Ain't nobody can't see shit, dude. Ain't nobody can't see shit. What? Oh! I tried. I was trying to get back into cover. Tis okay. I know where the douche is at. I think there's like an invisible wall right there or something, you know? That's what I think. We're gonna have to lockpick this door, homie. And it's level 2 lock. You, they really want you to get those lockpick skills, man. I've done level... Th oh my god. I've done level 3 locks for like a long ass time now. And I'm not about to start fucking up on level 2 locks. I'm not about to have that happen. Excuse me. I don't know who these... Ooh, there's more gold people now. Is this Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 where there's gold people and, like, Adam Warlock and stuff? You feel me? Any Marvel fans? 15. Like, ooh. Grandmaster wants to I trust we'll finally learn the meaning behind our recent activities. All will be made clear. I don't like it. The plan is still too vulnerable. And let's not forget, La Fremiere is still out there somewhere, waiting to burn Ooh. us all at the stake. She sounds gorgeous. Yeah, I'm ready at that. But what? Well, La Fremiere is dead. Hours ago, in fact. Assassins. That seems convenient. Huh. That's the thing about assassins. Point them at a Templar conspiracy. They ask no questions. Right for the <laughs> literally what I was talking about. That's literally what I was talking about. Was that Templars make their schemes and all assassins do is interfere with them. That is exactly what I was talking about. Whoa, shit, what the hell are y'all doing? Y'all gonna follow him, or should I just kill you guys now? Excuse me, I'm not an assassin. I'm not an assassin, don't mind me. Whoa, what the hell? Thought he was somewhere else. 
So why not skip the end game and go directly to me? End game? Tell me where Dude, I'm this video is connected. Yeah. What was that? You're a smart man. Roy, clean up your mess, it's time. Be right there. Ooh. You heard the weasel boys? Oh. oh shit. Oh my god. Did you really throw him out of the Trash belongs in the gutter. Sloppy. Someone might have seen. Who? What the fuck? The whole plan comes unraveled because of one dead peon. Well, I don't know what happened to those other two little uh little Templars. The one that sounded hot. Are they are they still right there? Or... <laughs> Haven't we uh been here before already? Okay, this is literally exactly where they are. Alright, these stairs right here. That's where we have to go. And, oh. The great work requires patience, my friend. If Paris must suffer a while longer so the world might be remade, then so be it. Why not just kill him and be done with it? One of my boys, a knife, a dark hallway. Easy peasy. We want a condemned man, Captain, not a martyr. Have patience. Respectfully, Grandmaster. Patience is well and fine. But the longer we wait, the greater the chance of discovery. Well, the assassins already found Siver and the Wadetun. Oh, Siver and Lawal already serve their purpose. Their destruction, while inconvenient, is no obstacle. And the assassins have already proved useful when properly led. What about the Della Serbrat? She could be dangerous if she manages to rally the old guard. That situation will be resolved. How so? Mademoiselle de la Serre will soon be on her way to l'Hôtel Voisin, eager to speak with Monsieur Lafreniere. Sadly, Monsieur Lafreniere has nothing left to say. Please. Oh, shit. They planning to kill her? Grandmaster. But you've had your brush with the assassins as well. Respectfully. You won't always be so lucky. Quite right. I shall leave the execution of our work to you good, ladies and gentlemen. I have to listen to this. For my part, I shall retire to the sanctuary and await the final phase. Will that satisfy you, Captain? I'll see the watch triple. Very well. May the Father of Understanding guide you. Thank you. Go on, we'll pick down here and go for a pint. Oh, shit. I don't got time to fight, dude. Find the spy. No spies escaping on my watch. Oh shit. Did not even notice there was a whole escape segment. I must escape the area. I know exactly where to fucking go. I know exactly how to get out of this solemn bitch. And uh, I think the best part is I won't have to kill fucking no, that's exactly where I don't want to go right now. Back to the chandelier room. Back to the chandelier room, and there's a fucking window. Dude, this sounds like Team Fortress 2. You want to shut the fuck up? There ain't no goddamn spy on the loose. You know who you're dealing with? An assassin, dude. Watch. Ooh, the escape is actually on the upper level. Fuck, maybe not. Or maybe it's on this one. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, you like coming right to me, buddy? Watch the exit. This. I'm sorry, the what now? Dude, I need to. I miss Team Fortress 2. Deuces, bro. Let me climb up. Let's go. 
fucking Arno. Oh, sir. Not the worst mission I've played. By far the worst, not the worst one I've played. Six skill points now. I need to blow my nose, dude.